my job might be as a mechanical engineer uh, or an aerodynamicist to try to understand is there something that we could do in this particular location that would improve the output of, of these turbines. Uh, and so what we can assume is that everything is getting instrumented with sensors. And this both gives us the ability to record history, for example, the wind patterns that tend to, to flow over this particular topography uh, and, uh, and how they intersect the wind farm. And it also gives us, in, in, at least in theory, the ability to have uh, turbines and blades that actually might you know, alter their, their aerodynamics uh, dynamically as a function of the wind that's available. So I might uh, want to look at different models, like so computer load my flow models. So here I might have a, a set of these that I've developed myself or, or uh, got from other people. In this case, I, I want to look at this uh, aerodynamics of the, the blades on this wind turbine and understand you know, what happens as, uh, as the, the wind intersects them and what its you know, impact is on that. So let's say I want to take this one turbine and, and use it as a, a, a proxy for the rest and think about how I can uh, alter that or see, see if there's a better combination. So in this case, I'm going to uh, take this tablet and lay it down. I, I think that what will happen in the future is that people's work surfaces will actually be built where they have a set of displays uh, that are these type of vertical ones. Increasingly, I think these will be three-dimensional in terms of their capability display. And all the surfaces uh, of your workspace and even the walls will increasingly be display uh, surfaces and have input and sensing capability. And so, you know, we've been uh, working on that. So I'm going to take this and essentially flick this model up and put the wind turbine up on this other display because what I want to do is use this and my body as a control uh, mechanism and then make some adjustments. So uh, first, uh, you know, I'll, I'll basically tilt the thing up, so I'll make a gesture that basically <coughs> rotates it up so I can see it. You know, I can basically take my hands and essentially say I want to sort of zoom in on one of these blades to understand it and then see the, the, the uh, calculated uh, wind patterns as they go across this blade. So here on the model, uh, you know, I have uh, the geometry of that blade and I might want to understand if I change that geometry, what it might be. So here I've got a pitch angle 4.1 degrees. You know, I can say I really want to change this angle, so I'm going to cross that off and write 10 degrees there and say, okay, let the model take that input and, uh, and, and change the pitch angle of the blade. And I can see that may alter the, the, the wind flow in some way, uh, but it isn't exactly what I was hoping for. So one of the things I think is powerful is the ability for people uh, to interact with models and make a judgment, an engineering judgment, that may be very hard to describe if you had to write it down parametrically. But if you can observe the whole thing, you know, the visualization may, may allow you to make a, a judgment that is otherwise difficult to describe. And so in this case, I'm going to uh, use my hands as a way to essentially alter the geometry of this and see how it affects the, the, the laminar flow of, of wind across the blade and hence what the lift is and try to find a, a better configuration. So, you know, if I basically uh, grab a hold of this model, I can uh, put a control on it and I can sort of lift it up a little bit and I can say, well, that actually made it worse and I got more red. So I'll basically say, okay, I want to push it down a little bit and I'm basically just trying to watch to see when I get it to a level where it's mostly green. So I say, okay, I, I like that and I can leave it there. And so what I've been able to do is find a way to, just as we were doing in the Xbox game, you're sort of coupling yourself into the game. You know, here you're essentially coupling yourself into the simulation in a you know, fairly natural way. And if I uh, think that that's okay, I want to do that, then I can essentially take a gesture and drag this, uh, this, this model back down onto the, the tablet and, and play the, the whole uh, the wind pattern against it. And, and look to decide whether or not I, I really got the, the kind of result that I was looking for. And so, you know, these kind of things where modeling and simulation and the ability to interact and to share, I think are really going to be an important part of how science and engineering gets done in the future. 